Hello, this is a Watt Bike Atom. Hello, that sounded a bit, uh, bit radio too, didn't it? Hello, hello, hello everybody. This is a Watt Bike Atom and it is a very fine piece of equipment, but, 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 a couple of people have had a slight problem with it and I have had the same problem with it and I'm about to show you what that problem is and how to fix it. So stick around. So here is the Watt Bike and a very fine piece of equipment it is. Not cheap, uh, £1,599 I think when I bought it. Uh, maybe the same now, may even have gone up a bit. And I believe they're quite difficult to get hold of during this coronavirus period. Anyway, it's uh, a very attractive looking machine and it works very well and it integrates perfectly with uh, Zwift or Full Gas, which are the two programs that I use with it. Anyway, that's not the issue that we're concerned about today. The issue we're concerned about today is the seat post. Incidentally, the seat that you can see on top of the seat post is covered by a Cell Italia gel cover. And if any one of you, or those of you who use the Watt bike, may find that your, uh, your bum gets a little bit tired after a while sitting down in one place without moving, because it is quite difficult to stand up. But that gel cover uh, provides a little bit of padding, so I find that quite useful. The other kind of thing that you can see uh, here, where my finger is pointing, my outer finger, my, my out of finger, my out of focus finger is pointing, is a uh, kind of sweat cover. It's where you can drip sweat and prevent it damaging your frame too much. So here is the seat post. I've had my bike for over a year. I've done quite a lot of miles on it, particularly during this coronavirus period. Um, my daughter also uses the bike, so we move the seat post up and down and we're starting to notice a certain amount of movement within the seat post. It's not at a critical level, but uh, I was concerned about it getting worse, particularly if lockdown was going to continue, uh, which of course it is continuing at the moment, and we didn't go outside riding our bikes, which I haven't been at all during this coronavirus period. So I emailed what bike and said, starting to experience some slipping with my seat post, can you suggest any remedies? I believe I've seen something on Facebook where you can help people out. And given their due, they responded in a couple of days and they said, send us your address and we will send you a um, item of equipment that should solve your problem. To which I said, thank you very much and waited with bated breath until it arrived. And here it is. This is the piece of equipment they sent me. It is a plastic sleeve. Now, it didn't come with any instructions, so you would say to yourself, okay, well, what do I do with this plastic sleeve? Uh, now, what I should have done uh, was Googled it or gone on uh, YouTube and looked up a video to see what I should do, but I didn't do that. I thought, well, I'm smart enough. I know what I'm doing. I can work it out for myself. Uh, step number one, don't do what Julian did. Now, why should you not do what Julian did? Well, what Julian did was to undo the uh, locking bolt, uh, which is what uh, moves the, or allows the seat post to move up and down within the frame here. So I undid that locking bolt, removed the metal seat post with the seat on it, which is here, leaving the metal uh, part of the frame here with a hole in it. And I thought, aha, uh -huh, okay, well the thing to do is to put this plastic sleeve down that hole and then you put the seat post back in down into the plastic sleeve and that will sort out the problem. So I did that and I pushed this plastic sleeve down and it went down to around about here, okay? And then it wouldn't go any further. And I thought, well, that's a, that's a bit odd. So I, I pushed it a bit harder and I kind of moved it back and forth and used a bit of force in it. And then I thought, no, this is not working. It's not supposed to go like this. So I'd better do something else. So I thought, well, the thing to do is to take the plastic sleeve out and see if there is already a plastic sleeve in there, which this one ought to replace. Could I get this out? Could I buggery? I, I, the thing was stuck solid. And I thought, oh no, I've 
ruined my bloody watt bike. So I was pulling it and of course it's, you can't really get your fingernails under there to, to lift it up. And when you can do that, you lift up the whole bike. So I was putting my foot on the, the, uh, um, the platform of the bike and I was trying to lift that up and it wouldn't work. And I said to my son, can you please help me with this? And he came trying to help me with it and he couldn't do it either. So then I got some GT85. I thought, I know a bit of lubricant. I'll put that in this bait in it. Anyway, eventually I got this out. And then I looked at the video, checked up on Facebook, and that isn't what you do at all. There is already a plastic sleeve in here, which you can't really see very easily. But if you check up on YouTube, you'll find out that there is a plastic sleeve in there already. And what you have to do is remove that plastic sleeve and put the other one in. So I tried to remove the plastic sleeve. Could I get it out? Could I, buckery? So I went back on YouTube and went back on Facebook and various people said, well, the only way to get it out is to break it. So you've got to get a screwdriver and some tools and you've got to break the bloody thing and then you put the replacement plastic sleeve in and then you put your seat plates back in and that solves your problem. So what I'm going to do now is attempt that particular operation. So bear with. Well, Operation Seat Post is about to get underway. Uh, I had a little bit of a break because I had a, a two hour session on Zwift. So I'm a bit, a bit knackered, but a uh, little bit of movement in the old seat post. So I thought I'd get stuck in and get a, mark, get a start on the fix. So first thing I'm gonna do is <laughs> undo, whoa that uh, bolt and luckily my fingers weren't in the way and now I'll remove the seat post and there it is the seat post has come out so I'm just going to put it down there and here is the existing plastic sleeve a little difficult to see right i've got some tools i've got a screwdriver i've got a 10 millimeter masonry bit in case the screwdriver is not quite sufficient and i have a pair of mole grips so let's see I'll try with the mold grips first. And the problem is, you see, that the plastic sleeve, there isn't really any purchase that you can get. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, there I've got some purchase. I don't know if you can see the plastic sleeve is sort of moving but there is a little what do you call it nipple perhaps at the front and <laughs> did you hear that everybody well something broke there so let's see if we can get the old mole grips on it to what I don't want to do is to end up with a whole lot of bits falling down inside. A bit difficult to see how that is not going to... Aha! Look at that! Ho 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 guys! How about that? Okay, so that is the... Oh, can't undo my mole grips. Just a minute. That is the existing plastic sleeve. And the new plastic sleeve is that. So there they are side by side. But the new plastic sleeve, as you can see, is basically the same design, but it's about a foot longer. Can you see that? It's about a foot longer there. So this new plastic sleeve now has to slot in and I have to find some way 
of getting this nipple down into the little hole that there is there and I'm not sure quite how to do that because that doesn't seem to want to press in at all if I push it down it seems to me that nipple is going to just break off which is not really what I want can I just kind of just kind of get that down oh there have we got it yes look guys magic we're cooking with gas that's got the new plastic sleeve into it so the new plastic sleeve there is in the hole as it should be I now get the seat back put the seat back one of the issues by the way let me just show you this while I'm here is these two bits here you can see where the red paint has worn away that is where the bolt to hold the saddle goes and the reason there are two marks there is because as I said I use this and my daughter uses it so I have it at just under 770 height there we are just tighten that up and just put the straps down there of the spread and that seems to be pretty solid in there so hopefully that's fixed it well if you have the same problem as I have and a number of other people seem to have had with a slipping or moving seat post then I suggest you contact what bike get them to send you this plastic sleeve uh, watch this video well if you've got this far because you've already watched this video and um, but that'll show you uh, just how to insert the sleeves I'd like to say a big thank you to people on Facebook who gave me uh, advice and also the other people who've produced similar videos on YouTube sorting out the same problem so uh, thanks for watching and see you next time